the state gives us the authority to stop a boat to make sure that all the safety equipment that you may need in, on your voyage is with you. Okay, when an officer pulls up to your boat, he's going to identify himself, he's going to notify you that he's making a water safety stop. Typically, they're going to always ask you for your certificate of number. Parks and Wildlife issues a certificate of number, you're supposed to carry it on board your boat. It's a little card that they're going to send you in the mail once you've registered your boat. You have to have it on board anytime you're operating your vessel. Personal flotation device. Officers are going to pull you over. They're going to make sure that you have the proper number of personal flotation devices for the number of people that are in your boat. And they have to be the right proper size to fit everyone, and they have to be in good working condition. All the buckles have to work, all the snaps, in good shape to where it'll work in an emergency when you need it. This particular boat has a gas engine on it. It has enclosed storage. It's required to have a fire extinguisher on board, a B1. This happens to be a BC1, and it needs to be in serviceable condition. This particular model, some of them have a gauge where it'll tell you if it's good or not. This particular model has an indicator on top. If you push it down, it pops back up. It means it's in good condition, ready to go. This particular boat, a 19-foot boat, also is required to have a sound-producing device. That can be in the form of a whistle, an air horn, or the horn that comes with the vessel. Key is on. Horn is functioning. It's also required to have a Type 4 throwable device on board. Type 4 throwable device come in different shapes and different forms. This one, people refer to it, it looks like a seat cushion. Uh, it's often used as a seat cushion, but if you flip it around, it states it's a Type 4 throwable device and it's Coast Guard approved. We covered the required equipment by state law, but that's usually not where we stop. This boater also has an anchor. Not required safety equipment, but it's essential. If this boat breaks down and you're out there on a windy day, you're heading into a rocky shore, you're gonna to wanna to have an anchor that you can deploy to hold your position. We're excited about the summer season kicking off. The lake levels in North Texas are, are full. It's gonna be a great summer. We just urge that you make sure that your boat's in proper working condition, you have the proper safety equipment, and when you come out to the lake, make sure you know the rules specific to the lake that you're visiting, and keep a proper lookout. Once again, it goes back to pay attention to your surroundings.